Good morning, creators, and welcome to another UFN tutorial. This is the second episode of the Verse Persistence series. It's very necessary that you see the first one. If you have skipped it, please go back and watch it. It is linked below and in the card above if I remember to add cards. Now, this is going to be a really quick one, so let's get over to our scene. Um, i got to show you what not to do in this video. Um, if you do any of these things, it's going to be very painful for you later on. So the first thing we addressed in the previous video, uh, if you change the name of your save data map after you've published, say, say I rename it to like profile, player profile map. Um, not only do I have to like rename it everywhere else, it's not going to let you publish this um, after you've published because it doesn't match the original persistent name, um, which was save data map. Um, because now it doesn't know what it was and that save data was already saved for people. So it doesn't know where to reference that. And so it's going to freak out and it's not going to let you publish. So do not do that. Keep the name. Same thing with the name of your class. I call it save data. If I call it save data V 42, uh, not only do I have to change that everywhere else, like I said earlier, um, it's the same problem. Your code does not know where to reference the original save data, um, the published version of the save data. And so it's going to freak out. It's not going to let you publish. Um, so do not do this. Keep it to save data or whatever your original name was when you published. So the first time you, you can change it all the way up to the first time you publish. And then after that publish, you have to keep it exactly the same. Um, Another thing, inside of your persistable class, you cannot change or delete any of these values. Uh, you can change the value, like the, the actual value of it. So if you want to change it to like 90, the new default value will be 90. Um, so new, new default values are fine, but you should never just delete this. If you deleted buttons pressed, once again, not only do I have to change it everywhere else, um, the code will freak out because that data is stored in current versions, but it's gone in the new versions and it doesn't know how to deal with that. Epic didn't write a way to, uh, for it to deal with that. So you need to keep all of this data. Once you add it and publish, these cannot be removed or renamed. If you remove these, or you rename these, it will freak out and not let you publish. So don't do it, uh, but you can change the default values. I've seen plenty of people in the Fortnite Creative Verse forums um, just completely lost uh, because I think they copied some code. They use a similar weak map name. Uh, they just copied over a previous version they published um, and all these values changed and it freaked out. It wouldn't let them publish. And it's very hard to explain that you have to revert back to that original class, especially since I had no access to that original class. That's something that you had. Um, and this is why you need to check in, check in your projects. Once you have this done, check in with a meaningful name. We'll call this, um, save data added. And so in all caps, if I ever need to revert to this version, I will be able to find it. Um, I believe we can open snapshot. Uh, I need to uh, move my face real quick. Sorry. You have to go to revision control in the bottom corner after you've checked in. Uh, even if you're on a solo map, solo team, if it's just you, you need to be checking your projects because it stores your information on the cloud. Now, go to your revision control and you can open up snapshot history. And you can find the save data added snapshot. So in the worst case scenario where you did not heed my advice and you ran into these issues, you can go back to a version. You can revert to it like this one. And this will go all the way back to that version, allow you to copy up, copy that verse code, put it in the new version, and then you can publish again. Now, obviously that's not ideal. You want to have new data, but in this case, if you are stuck like this, you have to do this. Otherwise you are screwed. You are actually screwed. Uh, and it's very unfortunate that Epic hasn't provided anything for this. So you 
you really need to uh really need to handle that so that's why this video is here though this is why this video is here uh is to make sure that you don't run into these issues because if you do it's bad now last thing which we also covered in the previous video uh when you're getting or setting save data you need to check to see if the player is active and if they aren't active you need to stop those operations if you access the save data map like this and the player is inactive it will crash your game and when your game crashes all the players will leave once again really bad it's not it's not provided in the documentation that epic provides um but it's here I don't mean to scare you, but like, you got to do this or else you're going to screw yourself over in the future. This is actually the issue with underwater labs on launch is I did not have the is active check. So from my own experience, when everybody was flooding into underwater labs, um, it's funny flooding in, um, it, the game was crashing. And as soon as somebody left the game, the game would crash and it was very bad. It caused a lot of sessions to end. And it really tanked our gameplay that, that initial day. Now, thankfully, I discovered the issue and was able to get it fixed. I believe it was Warforge on one of the forums that um, that kind of um, pushed uh, this this message out. So um, it was good to good to get that. You know, good to find that when I was publishing. But once again, do this, do all of these things and you'll be OK. Don't don't screw yourself over. It's a, it's. It's a simple message, and that's a that's a simple message for this video. Just don't screw yourself over. Do these things. Be cautious. I'm going to reiterate this a million times. Do these things. Don't screw yourself over. Don't be like me. Just do it right. Do it right. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. You better have found this helpful because this is advice that is not on the forums, not on the documentation. Um, <laughs> you really need to like pay attention to this stuff because uh you're gonna screw yourself over um in the next video however i'm gonna show you a nice uh, a nice framework i designed for underwater labs which helps me manage its really complex persistence there's like hundreds of items to keep track of in underwater labs uh, but i created a way to easily access these um and i think it's a good system that everybody should learn from if not what you're going to implement in your game so um leave a like subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.